next section is 7.3. We're going to be discussing percents and decimals. You'll note when you have the example on the board, 25 hundredths. It's equal to 25 over 100. And then 2,500 is equal to percent, because as we've discussed before, percent means out of 100. So you can say that 25 is equal to 25%. To write a decimal as a percent, move the decimal point two places to the right and then write a percent sign. To write a percent as a decimal, Move the decimal two place, excuse me, move the decimal point two places to the left and remove the percent sign. Now note if we're going to write a decimal as a percent, percent has an excuse me, percent has an R in it. And an R could help you possibly say so I'm going to move it to the right two places. And then if you have a percent, you need to write it as a decimal. Then notice decimal has an L in it. And you would know if you're going from a percent to a decimal, you can move it to the left two places. Again, because we're talking about 100, two decimal places. So let's do some examples for this. In example one, we're going to write decimals as percents. So we're going to write 61 hundredths and 2 and 3 tenths as percent. So 61 hundredths, if we write it as a percent, because we move the decimal place to the right two places. Now, 2 and 3 tenths percent would be 230 percent, because you have two holes and three tenths, which is a part, so that would be 230%. In our example two, we're gonna write the percents as a decimal. So we've been given 75%, four tenths of a percent, and 168% as decimals. So we'll take the 75%, move the decimal two places, to the left, Four tenths of a percent, that is a very tiny number. So in decimal, it would be four thousandths. And then 168% would be one and 68%. In our next example, percents greater than 100 are written as numbers greater than one. Percents less than 1% are written as numbers less than 100. To write such percents as decimals, follow the same steps as you would for percents between 1% and 100. So let's write the following as decimals. So if we have 500%, that would be 5. If we have 55 hundredths percent, and we are asked to write that as a decimal, would be 55 ten thousandths. Again, pay close attention to where the decimal is. Now we have some examples to write the decimal as a percent or the percent as a decimal. Let me just pause the video and we'll come back and check our work. So note on these eight examples, when we change them to a decimal, to a percent, from a decimal to a percent, we move the decimal place to the right. If we changed it from a decimal Excuse me, if we change it from a decimal to a percent, we moved it to the right two places. If we change it from a percent to a decimal, we moved it to the left two places. Let's use a word example for this. Pygmy hippos. The African pygmy hippo is the smallest species of the hippopotamus. Suppose a common adult hippo weighs 5,600 pounds, and the adult pygmy hippo weight is 10 and 5 tenths percent of the common adult hippo's weight. 
how much does the adult pygmy hippo weigh? They're asking us to find 10 and 5 tenths percent of 5,600. So in this example, we're asking to find the 10 and 5 tenths percent of 5,600. So if we did 10 and 5 tenths percent of 5,600, that's the same as, if we change that percent to a decimal, times 5,600. When you multiply those two, you get 588 pounds. So the key term of this is trying to find the percentage of the weight. So you just change the percent to a decimal and multiply. A way you can check your answer to see if it's is close. What is 10% of 5,600? And that would be 560. So your answer is close. That does make sense. Okay, so now I'm going to work with fractions, decimals, and percents. A fraction, a decimal, and a percent can all represent the same number. You can write a fraction as a percent by first writing the fraction as a decimal. So let's look at these examples that we have here. We have 3 eighths. And we're asked to write the fraction as a percent. In A, 3 eighths, the operation going on there is division. So how you would set that up would be 3 divided by 8. So as you work this out, the division problem, you have 3 eighths is equivalent to 0 0.375. Now we're going to change that to a percent. So we're going to move the decimal place two places to the right. And our final answer would be 3, 37, and 5 tenths percent. Okay, I'm going to pause the video, let you work out B, change that to a decimal and then to a percent. In B, we took 5 divided by 3. 5 divided by 3 is 1.6. We have bar notation over the 6 because the 6 continues to repeat. That's the answer in decimal form, but we're asked to put it in percentage. So we're going to move the decimal place two places to the right, but we also need to have showing that the tenths in the tenths place of the six also repeats. So your final answer for percentage would be 166 and six tenths bar notation over the six, because the six is repeating. Now I have four more examples. I'll pause the video and we'll come back and check our work. So note in each of these, we took on nine, 10, and 11, we divided the numerator by the denominator, got the decimal, then we were instructed to change it to a percent, so we moved it to the right two places. So 7 eighths is the same as 87 and 5 tenths percent. 5 twelfths is 41 and 6 tenths percent with a bar notation over the 6. Number 11, 11 sixths is 183 and 3 tenths percent with a bar notation over the 3. And then number 12, 5 fourths is 125 percent. Now we're asked to find the percent of a number. So in 13 and 14, the simplest way to find the percent of the number would be to change the percent to a decimal and multiply. I'm going to pause the video and come back and check our answer. So note in 13, we change the decimal, excuse me, the percent to a decimal and multiply. Four and seventy-seven hundredths is your final answer. And number 14, 195 percent of 23, we change the percent to a decimal, multiply, and 195 percent of 23 is 44 and 85 hundredths.
Now, in these examples, we're to, we are asked to order the numbers from least to greatest. Now, it's not telling us which method that you would use, so you could use whatever method works for you. You can change them all to a similar unit. You can change them all to decimals. You can change them all to percents. In number 15, when I'm looking at them, I would have changed them all to percent. That is a personal preference. Let me show you why. This would be 306 percent. This is 304 percent. Now, if I wanted to change 61 over 20 to a percent, I would find, I would set them up in proportions. What over 100? So, 61 out of 20 is what over 100? So, you would take 5 and multiply it times 61, and you would get 305. So, this is 305 percent. I would do the same for 77 over 25. Set it up in a proportion. So 77 times 4 is 308. So that would be 308%. And then I have this decimal that I want to change to a percent. That would be 310%. Now, all I got to do is put them in order from least to greatest in the original format. 304%. I'll use that one. 61 over 20. Use that one. In this next example, I'm 16. Again, you can choose whichever method that you would like. I'm going to pause the video and we'll come back and show you the answer. Now, as you're looking and checking your answers for number 16, notice that three of the five are in percent. So, I would change two remaining to percent. The first one, you would just move the decimal over two places to the right. Nine over 25, you would divide put that in a decimal form, and then change it to a percent. Again, take each problem, each individually, to see what is the best way and best method to solve it. Another way, <laughs> if you can't, if, if you're able to understand the 9 over 125, 9 over 125 is greater than 1%. As you can see, the remaining numbers or less than 1%. So 9 over 125 would be considered the largest. So if you can understand that, then you can go ahead and just set that to be the largest. Otherwise, you can divide 9 divided by 25. Okay, example 4 is our last example. The average adult has 10 to 12 pints of blood. Mm -hmm. Human blood is 83% water. How many pints of water are in 11 pints. How many pints of water are in 11 pints of blood? Sorry. So we took 83%, changed it to a decimal, and multiplied it times 11. So 9 and 1300 pints of blood, excuse me, pints of water are in 11 pints of blood. And we corrected it. Nine and thirteen hundred pints of water.